Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Vijay and today we are going to tackle a fundamental topic for any electronics enthusiast, calculating the register value for an LED. Understanding this is crucial for protecting your LED and ensuring they shine bright without burning out. Let's get started. While working with LED and microcontrollers like Arduino, it is essential to calculate the register value to limit the current flowing through the LED. This not only protects the LED but also ensures it operates within its specific parameters. Let's go through the process step by step. For this tutorial, all you need is an Arduino Uno, a breadboard, an LED, a resistor, the value we shall calculate and a jumper wire. Before we calculate the register value, let us take a quick look at the data sheet of LED, which will give us some parameters necessary to calculate resistance value. We should try to look at the forward current, peak forward current and forward voltage from the different tables given in the data sheet. We intend to operate at forward current at about 10 mA and that you can select from the luminous versus forward current graph and another graph which is there between forward current and forward voltage the voltage would be around 3 volt for 10 mA current. Now here comes the math part the voltage across the resistor that we want to put in between is the difference between the supply voltage and the LED for voltage drop. So we can find out that is VR is equal to VCC minus VF. If we are using 5 volt power supply and LED has a VF of 3 volt as we discussed for 10 mA current, then VR will be 2 volt that is 5 volt minus 3 volt. Next we use Ohm's law that is V is equal to IR to calculate the register value. For a selected operating current of 10 mA from that graph of luminous versus uh, forward current, we can find out resistor as V over I, where V is Vr, that is the voltage across the resistor. So that was 2 volt divided by the operating current, that is 0 0.01 ampere, and this will give us value of. 200 ohms. In practice, we might not find a 200 ohm resistor exactly. No need to worry about this. We can choose the closest standard resistor value available like 220 ohm. The goal is to get as close as possible while using readily available resistor. And there you have it, calculating the resistor value for an LED. This ensures our LED signs uh, brightly and stay safe. But what happens when we do not use any resistance in the circuit with LED? Without a current limiting resistor, the LED can potentially draw an infinite amount of current limited only by the internal resistance of the Arduino pin, which is very, very low. However, this practice is not recommended and it can damage both LED as well as Arduino. Always use a current limiting resistor when connecting an LED to an Arduino or any other power source. What happens if the current through LED is less than the forward current? So that is again another interesting question. If the current through the LED is less than the forward current, the LED may not operate as intended and its brightness may be lower than expected that you will find at some places. So in that case you have to readjust the calculations of LED and then you have to change the resistor value so that the current is as expected. Another effect can be on the color. The color of LED is often specified at its forward current. Operating the LED below this current may lead to a color shift in the emitted light. For example, a white LED may appear bluish when operates at 
lower currents so you can try changing the resistor value so that the current through the circuit is changed and you can observe what is the effect of that change if you find this tutorial helpful don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more such tutorials until next time happy making thank you